Thank you for staying with us. And now we're going to be talking about the Lofty Heights Conference 2020. It's that time of the year, yes, when we usually get this man to come in and tell us about the plans and what they do, how many, how many lives have been impacted, the ones that are going to be impacted this time. So it's, he will tell you it's an opportunity for a lifetime. Now, whether we're starting a decade or ending a decade, I'm sure he will tell you this one matters most because you'll be starting afresh something really new. Well, tell us more about the Lofty Heights Conference is Wale Tejumade, convener of the conference. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much for having me. We only get to see Wale once in a year. <laughs> I see you guys all the time. Uh, <laughs> I see you guys all the time. We thank God for well Good morning. Done. But Wale did not come alone this time. He yeah. came with Tobi Shola Biola, who is the project coordinator. Good to, have, good to be here. Welcome. So let me start with you, Tobi. Okay, sir. Um, tell us about this year's conference. Um, the Lofty Heights Conference this year is, is going to be a different one because it is first and foremost the fifth edition, so we've been doing this for five years. And I mean, a child that is five years old should be able to do some things on his or her own. And this particular year has um, a line of, of speakers that, you know, the regular youth would not think that they can actually come on board. So we have Funke Bokner, on board, we have um, Olawale Ailara on board, we have Tolo Gulesi on board also, and we have Nia Desonya on board. So these are people that would eventually shift our mindset from doing things over and over and what can be done differently in our perspective, individual businesses, in the things that we do as individuals. So they're going to just shift our mind literally from what we're doing to something different. And it came for this year's conference is Stronger Together. And I mean, Stronger Together, it enforces collaboration, enforces that we harness the power of relationships. Because most times as youths, we're just into, let me just do and run fast, and trying to leave everybody behind. But this comes at a strategic point where we need to sit down and deliberate, say, okay, who are the people on my team? Who are the people that can run with my vision, who are the people that I can collaborate with to move to the next level, to take as many people that are not as privileged as I am with me. So that's basically what Stronger Together, which is this year's conference, is about. Wale, yeah. she used the word strategic point, no, the phrase strategic point. Yeah. And I heard you go on to respond as in, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. You see, the reason why I nodded is simply because, I mean, um, Toby is also a prodigy to me. And I mean, I'm super proud of her. And, um, you know, this tells me that she's, uh, uh, she's living the vision of the conference. So maybe next year, maybe I'm not going to be here. Maybe she will be here alone. And talking about that tells you that, for instance, she was talking about trying to emphasize, you know, the theme for, for the year 2020, being stronger together. And like she rightly, you know, pointed out, um, an average Nigerian youth just want to do things alone. The, the need to synergize, to collaborate, to have both lateral and vertical relationships, you know, are missing. And that has accounted for the reason to why, you know, um, um, results um, chosen or, I mean, delivered on some things are quite very, very minimal. You know, for me as an individual, for instance, I'm here right now. This is the fifth year running the channels, you know, has been supporting, you know, this conference. I, I, did, I have not met Mr. Momo one-on-one. -on -one. You know, so it, I'm here seated this morning right now because of the power of relationships. And that's the focus for this year. If I do not have the necessary relationships or synergy, I probably wouldn't be here. So there are opportunities that are bound. There are, there are heights you can attain. There are, there are things that you can do. You can go pretty fast, you know, and, and, and well in life if you align yourselves, yourself strategically with those whose values, you know, also align with yours. I just want... Um, young professionals and, and um, um, youth, you know, um, in, in Nigeria and those who are also youth at art, you know, to just change the narration from wanting to run alone and thinking that um, um, an individual is sufficient, you know, to bring about the change. But when you, run, when you run alone, you, you win, you, when you win, you get to carry a lot. Yeah. So why would you want them to share the victories? You, you, well, that's, that's the, um, um, the sportsmanship that comes into play for anyone who has... Have you ever seen um, 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 
and um, an athletic person, for instance, who does things alone? No. No. No matter how much you try, there is a level of success or, or speed that would never come to you, except you align yourself, you know, with some very strategic and, um, you know, um, 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 healthy, you know, kind of relationships. Yes, sometimes in the process of, you know, um, making your arms free and um, trying to accommodate people and seeing how you can leverage your relationships or, or one way or the other, you may get your fingers burnt. Some will stab you at the back. Some will blackmail you. But you see, that's still part of the whole thing that makes this life what this life really is. And that's the reason why I try to emphasize on the fact that you're not just trying to synergize, you're not just trying to be stronger together with anybody. You're trying to do that with those whose values you know, align with yours and whose visions and whose goals you know, correspond with what you're trying to achieve. What informed the choice of a theme for this year? Well, several things. Um, I'm a man of the spirit, and um, one of the things that I do specifically is to have God direct me. And then um, beyond that, I, I try to, um, you know, study the environment, you know, in Nigeria over here, and um, um, sometimes rub mine with some of my team. She's one of the core team members, you know, and try to see what we can do or what a theme and the kind of people that we can bring on board whose lives already, ex I mean, exemplify or ex is exemplifying um, 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 the theme, you know, for the conference. For instance, last year we had Made for More. This year is Stronger Together. Take a look, for instance, Debola Lagos. I mean, Debola is quite a young chap. He's got connections both within Nigeria and outside Nigeria. Tolo Ogunlesi is not a very old or not an old person. He's senior special assistant to the president. Strategic relationships and alignment must have brought him to that level. And that's what I want to, I want uh, um, um, attendees or participants at this edition of the conference, you know, to focus on. If Tolu was doing things, you know, just behind the scene and just himself all alone, you know, I, I, I bet he probably wouldn't be where he is right now. If you speak to someone like Debola Lagos, for instance, he's where he is today because some people believe in him, because he's maintained, he's you know, um, initiated, cultivated, and managed some specific relationships. And I actually look forward to hearing <coughs> from these guys on, on Saturday, 18th January, that's next Saturday, at Pistis Hub, Maryland, um, Junction, Maryland, here in Lagos. Time is 9 a.m., and we're kicking off 9 a.m. on the dot. I really want to hear from, for instance, for Debola Lagos, I've not met in person. Tolu, I've not met in person. Um, the only person that I have a relationship with, you know, as speakers for this year is my mentor, Nia Adesanya, and um, Wale Ayilara, just the two of them. Funke Bokno, the CEO of Sapphire, I've, I've, not, I've not met up with her before. And I got in touch with these people, despite their very busy schedules, they still chose to say, yes, we're on board on this. Still talking about being stronger together and relationships, because it was just a phone call or text message from someone who knows them, who can say, oh, I know Wale Tejimadi, he does this, he does this, he does that. The brand is credible. I'd like you to, to be a part of it. You know, and uh, let's send you email and all of that, and you have, you know, the crops of speakers you have in this time around. Now, Toby, you had over 2,000 people last year. Approximately how many are you expecting this year? Expecting double of that. But realistically, so far, we've had over 3,000 people registered. Oh, dear. Yes. Is your <laughs> hall big enough to accommodate <laughs> over 3,000 people? You know, sometimes we, we try not to limit um, the possibilities of what we can. It's better people are standing and people are getting the message than we're not pushing out the information and people don't get to show up. So just like in the scripture, when there was a party um, that a rich man prepared for, and people didn't show up. So you, we keep spreading the message, spreading the message till everybody gets to know about it. So yes, we're okay, not so, stopping. <laughs> so the, okay, you've not answered the question. If, the, okay. if the, your whole capacity is enough for this week? Yes, we have arrangements for overflow too. We have arrangements yes, for overflow. overflow. Don't also forget the fact that um, um, this is the fifth edition on a large scale. So there are a crop of people, tribes, if you may want to use that word, whose heart, soul, spirit, and body looks forward to Lofty Heights Conference every January, third Saturday of every January. So those ones, it's a given. 
Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Now, um, if, for instance, this facility is to take us 5,000, we try to double it. You know why? Because um, some may have genuine reasons while they may not be able to show up at the long run. Some people, while registering, may register for two people or three people, thinking they're going to show up. But by and large, uh, I, I know maybe the concern is crowd management and all of that. We have all that sorted. And that's also one of the reasons why we've chosen to just, you know, stay put um, with um, Pistis Hub. They have fantastic facility. The uh, um, overflow is quite very, very big. You have last mile fishers and um, security passing along ground to guarantee the safety of lives and properties you know, and, of, of and, and it's, it's free, is it? It's yes, free. It's yeah. free. It's free. Is registration mm -hmm. still open? Yes, registration yeah. is still open. Um, registration portal is um, lhc2020.eventbrite.com. Eventbrite is spelled... Please say that again. LHC, that's Lofty Heights Conference, LHC2020. Dot Eventbrite. Eventbrite is spelled E-V-E-N-T-B-R-I-T-E. Dot com. Registration portal is open. And um, for phone calls, um, inquiries, you may please call 081 222 9399. We'd also be glad to receive um, you know, partnership and um, sponsorship from corporate organizations who are interested in youth um, development in Nigeria. That's for inquiries. You yes, can call 081 229 3999. 0812-229-3999. And you can register at lhc2020.eventbrite.com. Registration is still open and it's happening next week, Saturday. Saturday night. Is it just entrepreneurs or anybody? Can anybody. anybody. Professionals, entrepreneurs, um, younger tired, anyone who desires the next level. I mean, it's the start of the year. Don't forget that this is also one of the reasons why the conference holds at this point for people to be able to gain clarity of direction and vision and purpose you know, mm. for the year 2020. And people can also, you know, connect with us on social media. Our social media handles is Lofty Heights NG, Twitter, Lofty Heights NG, Facebook, Lofty Heights NG, Instagram, Lofty Heights um, NG. Is there a chance you're going to be streaming this live? So for those that may not be able to make it. Yes, we, we're working on something like that. But of course, yes, our social media presence is super active. So if we're going to be streaming, if by streaming live you mean video live streaming, yes, we're working on that. But that, what I can you know, give an assurance on for this moment would be that everything going on right there that particular day, you'd see everything happening on Twitter. We have a very super, as a matter of fact, every year we have about 10,000 you know, live and attendees connected via social media platforms you know, and live streaming and all of that. So if anyone stays connected to Lofty Height NG, you know, on Twitter or Instagram, you can, you can catch, a, catch a glimpse of whatsoever thing that's going on. People come all over Nigeria. Mm. And yeah. I saw a message from someone who said it's coming from Enugu. So okay. Well, we still have a bit of time, so I, I need to ask you this. Yes, please. This conference is free. Yes, please. How can you afford to <laughs> run this conference every year? Thank you so, so very much, Aunt Larry. You see, and that, that was the reason why I, I you know, mentioned earlier on that um, for uh, some MD, chairman of the board, uh, watching me right now, this is an opportunity for you to please come on board, you know, and be a part of this. And um, this is not, you, you see, it, corporate sponsorship is one of our challenges because a typical Nigerian corporation would not support you except you are promoting entertainment, you are shaking bum bum, promoting nudity, you know, and all of all those stuff. But we don't do any of those here. Mm. And yes. At that point, yes. I have to say thank you for coming thank you on so the much. show. We really thank have you to so go. Much for having Wale Tejmade is the company at Lofty Heights Conference, and Toby Shola Abiola is the project coordinator. Yes. And the conference is happening on the 18th of January at Pistis Hub in Maryland, Maryland. 9, 9 a.m. on the dot register via the website we call that. Thank you. Sunrise, we're back for the home stretch in a moment. Please stay with us.